now everyone is waiting for this slide i'm very much uh, no and uh, this is a very very famous intro question guys to process 25 gb of data in spark how many cpu cores are required how many executors are required how much each executor memory is required what is the total memory is required how we have to decide okay let's move on i'm sure if i after completing this slide if i give you next scenario then you will be able to do it if interviewer ask you this question in interview then you can able to answer right now move on first question is how many executor cpu cores are required to process 25 gb data all right just do some reverse engineering by default spark creates one partition for each block example i am taking hdfs okay hadoop this we already discussed this note we already discussed right now go here 25 gb equal to 25 into 1024 mb hope everybody accept this 25600 mb now you please do divided by 128 mb what happens number of partitions is equal to total size divided by 128 mb that is 200 cores answer is number of cores required number of cores is equal to number of partitions okay that is 200 cores are required to process 25 gb in parallel okay in parallel and any 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 doubt in this are you able to understand this first question and answers click poll yes 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 sir great it is easy okay now move on move on to next question how many executors are required to process 25 gb this is interesting right how many executors are required to process 25 gb let's go to a uh, same note that to get the better performance in spark researcher said 2 to 5 maximum cores per each executor that is what they are saying okay what i'm thinking is let's go with a four okay average cpu cores for each executor i don't want to go with the maximum i don't want to go with a minimum i want to go with a four cores r and d is saying 2 to 5 you can take but i will take four you can take two you can take three you can take four you can take five there is no problem at all problem is it de depends on the data and you have to do r and d or trial and error when you assign two cores how much your job is taking when you assign three cores per executor how many uh, uh, how your job is behaving like that you have to do some r and d trial and error let us say since uh, people already did a research i don't want to do a research i will go with a four so average cores for each executor i want to take four in this case now can anyone tell me how many executors are required 200 divided by 4 50 50 50 correct correct total number of executors i required if uh, is 50 if i assume each executor is having four cores hope you are you are able to answer two questions and you are able to understand answers also right now let's move on to third question what is third question third question is how much is executor memory is required to process 25 gb data okay let's discuss this point expected memory for each core is equal to minimum four times of default partition size what is the default partition size it is 128 mb equal to 512 mb 512 mb expected memory for each core is required minimum minimum four times of this data that is 512 mb you can also refer this important point a few minutes ago we discussed executor memory is not less than 1.5 times right let us say executor is having uh, that means 450 mb minimum 450 mb is required for each core indirectly it is saying 
450 MB is minimum it's, it is required. Otherwise, you will lead to uh, failure, right? That is why, and this point three also saying the same. You should keep minimum four times of the, the data. That means 512 MB. Okay, now move on. We have how many executors, sorry, how many cores for each executor? Four, right? Now you tell me. Memory for each executor is how much? Guys, are you able to understand? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. 2 GB. Because executor is how many cores? Executor having four cores in this case. Then 4 into 512. That means 2 GB. So I need executor memory in this case minimum 2 GB. Minimum 2 GB. Each executor, I need minimum 2 GB to process 128 MB of our data. That means it can process four into four tasks in parallel. If you give this 2 GB data, uh, 2 GB memory, you can't give less than this. Let us assume you allocated 1 GB for this ex uh, memory. Ex uh, if for each executor, you allocated 1 GB. You're supposed to give minimum 2 GB, but you haven't given, right? You've given 1 GB. What happens? Either you have to reduce number of cores, then only job will pass or else it will fail. Are you able to understand? Yes. 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 Okay. Now we are good with the third answer. Now we'll move to fourth. What is the total memory required to process 25 GB? It is easier. Total number of executors, how many? 50. I have 50. 100. Very good. So each executor we require 2 GB, then 2 into 50, 100. So to process 25 GB of a data in uh, in parallel, or let us say uh, all tasks in parallel, so you required minimum 100 GB. If you carefully understand the statistics, I'm telling you, number of course you will get it even you when you multiply by four, just a thumb rule here, okay? It's not a fixed answer, but I'm just telling you simply no need to do all these calculations. Number of cores, uh, you can just uh, assume four times of this data. Um, that is, uh, if it is in GB, okay, don't worry. So 200. And then um, when you do a double, then you will get number of executor. Okay. Then, of course, you have to, uh, you know, uh, this is simple. Okay. You no need to do much because 512 MB is a minimum. Then you can calculate accordingly. So finally, to process 25 GB of data, you need a minimum 100, uh, 100 GB of memory. I have a one question, if you guys are done. All these four questions, are you able to understand these four questions? Yes, no, yes, no, yes no. Okay. Now, I have a couple of questions for you. you. You definitely, I hope you will answer. Okay. Okay. So I have a lot of transformations in my code. Um, and want to execute uh, that on a 25 GB data. Let us assume each task is taking five minutes. Now to process 25 GB data, how much time it requires? Can anyone please answer? Come on guys. One task is taking five minutes. Somebody already answered in previous sessions. One task is taking five minutes then to, to uh, let us say 128, uh, 128 MB data is taking five minutes. Then what is the time to uh, take 25 GB of data to process by going with these statistics or going with this configuration? Okay, I will ask you. How many number of tasks will be created in this case? Tell me, please. 200. 200. How many cores we have? How many cores we have? Then how much time it will take? One task is taking five minutes. If all tasks will perform in parallel, how much time it will take? Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Yes. That's it. That's it. That's it. And I will ask one more question. Okay. Being an end user or a client, I will say that I don't allocate this many executors. Okay. I don't allocate this many executor. I allocate only, I, I have only 25 executors. I have only 25 executors. Then I, I never mind. Okay, execution time. Then you tell me how much time it will take. 
10 minutes. 10 minutes. That's it. That's it. In that case, what is the memory that you require? Total memory is required. Total memory. Total memory. 50 GB. 50 GB. Yes. So, depends on your cluster configuration. Your job also performs accordingly. You got it right. There is no fixed answer. So, this is the maximum. This is the maximum. But what I can say is, if interviewer asks the same question, nah, I can say, I need 25 executors only. Yes. Then he may say, how, how you decided? I said, if perform is not a matter, if, if a client is saying 10 minutes, you take 10 minutes, I don't, I don't have a problem. Then why should I use uh, uh, 50 executors? I will use 25 executors. Getting me? Yes, not right. That's it? Yeah. What happens in that case? Out of 200, only 100 tasks will perform at a time. Next 100 or in queue. It will wait for their term. After five minutes, again, next set of tasks will come and sit inside the executors. So again, that executor will take uh, another uh, five minutes to complete those tasks. That's it. Total 10 minutes. My job is done. So there is no fixed answer. I mean to say is there is no fixed answer. However, this is the way of calculation. I'm not commenting that this is correct. This is wrong. No, it is based on the scenario you have to decide. But what you know is concept. If you are able to understand concept, if interviewer asks you multiple questions, you can able to answer. Yes or no? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. I will ask one more question. Then how you decide uh, how you decide uh, memory for uh, driver? Can anyone tell me? Based on this knowledge? Executor only we have been talking about, right? What about driver? Mm -hmm. See, simply here. When you are again cluster mode, I am saying cluster mode. That means you are always, it, we have to talk these figures in terms of by seeing a, we can say by assuming a, a prod production purpose. That means we don't see our results on our screen generally in production, right? Only we will see that a development phase or a interactive. But in production, always we save data, output data into somewhere. That means you are not bringing entire data into your driver node, driver program, or a master, or dri yeah, driver node, you can say. That means you need a less memory. So you can go with a minimum, let us say 4 GB is fine. Okay, even, not even 4 GB, but 4 GB is fine. But 4 GB is not fine when you use collect. Let us say this output is 25 GB of data is output. Let us assume is a 10 GB example. But your driver memory is 4 GB. If you use collect or take actions, then all 10 GB is supposed to come to driver node. It leads to driver out of memory exception. If you don't use collect or take, if you use save as text file into some location, obviously that output won't come to driver node. It goes to directly one of the uh, our storage location. Hence, there is no button on a driver. So that's still 4GB is fine. So it depends on the your use case. Driver memory, it depends on the use case, but minimum requirement, generally people will give equal to worker node configuration or double the worker node configuration. Okay, if worker node is, let us say 4GB, sorry, four core, uh, or let us say uh, 16 core or uh, 32 GB, you keep that for driver also. Or four core 8GB, you keep that settings for driver also. There is no of a fixed numbers to driver it based on the use case that you have to decide 